Here is the difference between shooting in CSGO and CS2. In CSGO what you see is what you get. In CS2 what you click is what you get. Look again. Here I click left mouse button. And look who gets killed in which game. In CSGO the bullet lands where you are holding the mouse at the moment of fire animation. In CS2 the bullet lands where you held the mouse when you clicked the button. In global offensive delay between button click and hit drag is random between 0 to 16 milliseconds on 60 for tick and between 0 to 8 milliseconds on 128 tick. In CS2, hitch registration is instant thanks to sub tick, but the animations still wait for the tick to happen. So yes, 128 tick servers were actually better in CS2, but they forbidden hosting them. Valve, I made perfect game for you. It's called Chess for Idiots, and it's available on Steam. So, in CSGO, Hitreg is delayed but synchronized with animations. And in CS2, Hitreg is instant, but desynchronized with animations. I don't understand why animations need to be delayed. The only reason I can think of is that sometimes you may be dead already, but your game doesn't know it yet, which would result in ghost shot. By ghost shot, I mean a shot that the player could see client side. But it actually never happened on the server. But the ghost shots happen in the game anyway, so I don't think it's a big deal, and I can prove it. Here is what I think how it works. Let's assume that players fire their weapons between the same teak. So here the CT player clicks the mouse. And here clicks the T player. But in theory he should be dead already. But the game doesn't know it yet, because it waits for the tick to happen. Notice that weapon animations are not synchronized with the clicks, and one of them must be a ghost shot. So I don't understand why the animations couldn't start immediately if one of them is fake anyway. And now, when the next tick happens, the server decides which of these two shots was real, and sends this information to clients. Wait what? Why this player got frag if it was this one who clicked first? Notice that the T player clicked after the fire animation of the CT player. But for some reason, the T1 got bread. For some reason, this one always kills, even if I click this mouse first. This computer host server, this joins by local network. Why this one fires first if I clicked first this one? Oh my god, and this one gets killed. If I shoot both before the animation, this one always gets killed. Even if I fire him second, something is wrong. I guess it's some lag compensation bug, or maybe this sub-tick thing isn't that precise after all. Or maybe just this slow motion thing is bugged. I don't know what the truth is. But I know that Valve lied to us twice. First, there are no 128 tick servers in CS2, and second, CSGO was actually more about what you see is what you get. So what you see is what you get. So there are two ways they can handle this subtick thing. First is to have delayed animations and less ghost shots. And second is to have instant animations, but more ghost shots. The first option is what we currently have, but I think the second one would be better. Because headshots in CS2 feel awesome. But spraying feels terrible, and I think it's because the fire animations are desynchronized with hitch registration. Also, maybe they could add that if a shot on the client side was first considered a hit. But then, the server did not agree with it at the time of the tick. Then sound of weapon jamming could be played. This way, we would have explicit information which shot actually landed on the server, and which not. So I think weapon animations and bullet traces, instead of being tick-based, can be frame-based, and fire instantly when you click the button. The only animations I think that need to be tick-based are headshot sparks and blood, because these give information if shot actually landed on the server. And maybe they could add some new effect that would play when some shot landed on our client, but not on server. Disclaimer, I may be totally wrong, it's just my best guess based on what I saw. The best would be to hear about this from Valve itself, like come on guys, be transparent for once. Thank you for watching and play chess for idiots.